All right, Timothy Renshaw is back with us, uh, checking business news from Business of Vancouver. Good morning. Steve, how are you doing? Good. Oscars last night. Yeah, um, be Behind the, all the glitz and glamour, of course, is uh, there's a fight brewing between uh, workers here in the film industry. And yeah. there was actually a protest, as I mentioned earlier, outside of, uh, of the... Uh, Los Angeles theater as well for their industry in, right. in Los Angeles. So uh, there's a lot of understory behind all this. For sure, yeah. And uh, it's uh, good news at the Oscars last night. There's lots of mentions of BC talent, you know, and there was wins here and uh, in Canada generally. So, and, uh, you know, that recognition is really key in uh, yeah. developing an interest in what we've got up here beyond just being cheaper up here or, you know, uh, more convenient for Americans up here. So, how does it help? Uh, well, I think the profile really helps, you know, I mean, it really helps that um, we have uh, that kind of talent, it's world-class talent up here, so, uh, and it uh, helps beyond just, you know, the numbers we have up here. Right. Um, the, the industry has always talked about t tax incentives, and that's the biggest thing they need to sort of compete right. with Ontario and Quebec. That's right. So, uh, you know, what does it do for the government in seeing, uh, you know, someone like someone from Salt Spring Island winning and, and others? Yeah, that's good, and uh, I, I think that's a good argument for some of those subsidies, but in, in the end, I don't think we win the subsidy battle, you know. Uh, each uh, uh, region gives uh, higher subsidies. It's, uh, eventually, it's not going to pay off for the taxpayer. There's going to be so many subsidies paid that we're not going to really be uh, generating any more uh, gross revenue for the entire economy. So I think we have to be really careful that uh, we want to develop uh, domestic uh, production facilities and domestic productions here more than just trying to uh, attract uh, big productions from outside. Well, that's where the money is, isn't it? That's where the big money is now, but I mean, yeah. uh, s sustainably, you can't really sustain your own industry by, uh, as I say, fighting the subsidy battle. If you can develop uh, a lot of uh, domestic product here, then, you, then you've got something that you can really build on. Hmm. Uh, now, as far as uh, as we mentioned the, the film industry and, and just the, the problems they've been having, and, and with a new government potentially coming in, do you think they'll, they'll we'll see something different in, in, in potentially a new government if the NDP does get in on election day? Uh, that could be. I mean, uh, the NDP is probably uh, consider that, and I think it's probably uh, a lot of political pressure being brought to bear on it. I mean, the uh, the local industry is got their uh, recent uh, campaign paid for by movie money, you know, and that's that's another thing that's being raised within the public, that the industry is really uh, far more than just the money that comes in. There's a lot of uh, industry and a lot of companies that uh, are paid from what the development of the productions are. So, mm -hmm. All right, if you have some more information, you can uh, go to the website at biv.com for more details on that, and we'll talk to you in about an hour. Okay, Steve, good. All right, thanks. Good.